The Labor Department announcing new rules aimed at protecting miners now as a disease called black lung is making a comeback. Mining companies are now having to limit the amounts of silica in the air. The mineral is commonly found in rocks and can be lethal when inhaled, but getting the rule approved was a lengthy process despite growing concerns over an alarming uptick in severe cases of black lung. Emily has been following this story for us. So Emily, it sounds like it's not just the longtime miners who are now getting sick. Yeah, that's absolutely correct, Kelly. Research shows miners across the U.S. are getting sicker at younger ages due to that exposure to toxic silica dust causing respiratory diseases like black lung. Federal regulators with the Mine Safety and Health Administration issued the new protections for miners yesterday, a move some industry leaders say is long overdue. The rules implement new standards for respiratory protections, like having the amount of silica dust miners can be exposed to and requiring workers to monitor silica concentrations. And it's not just coal miners who will be benefiting from these health safety protections. More than 250,000 miners working on a variety of metals and minerals will also benefit from these updated regulations. But these changes were recommended by government researchers 50 years ago. While almost all agree that some regulations are necessary, enforcement has been a point of debate. Miners say the rules are broad and leave companies to police themselves, some claiming that they're pressured to FUD results from silica sampling devices. But on the flip side, some mining industry groups believe the new regulations are too strict and say some programs, like offering free medical exams to workers, could be costly for them. Despite differing ideas on how to protect miners from lung diseases, according to the Labor Department, they are estimating the new rules will save more than 1,000 lives and prevent nearly 4,000 illnesses caused from silica exposure. The new rules are set to take effect in mining operations one year from now and is expected to be the industry standard by 2026. So half a century later, Kelly, they finally have some policies in place. Wow, talk about it. All right, Emily, thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.